Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I surprisingly have another little sketchbook tour and review for you. I know it's kind of shocking because I went so long trying to fill up sketchbooks and I didn't succeed and now all of a sudden a bunch of sketchbooks are filling up for me. Anyway, enough of this blabber, let's get uh, going on this tour and review. So as you can see here, this is the Windsor Newton uh, watercolor 5x7 notebook. I'd, I'd say technically it's kind of sort of not a sketchbook because all of the paper in this book is cotton. And of course, as always, cotton is just the most wonderful thing to paint watercolor on. There is no substitute for really nice cotton watercolor paper. So basically it's kind of like a travel size notebook of watercolor paper. Which, I mean, technically yeah, it still is a sketchbook. For watercolor specifically, really. Anyway, here on the first page we have my little watercolor sketches of cats. I just wanted to try something uh, sort of simple and um, I also turned these into stickers actually that you can buy on my Etsy shop. But it was fun to just kind of experiment with these um, little blobbies and make them into cats. Then I did a bunch of um, mushroom watercolor sketches. Again, it was just experimenting with watercolor and seeing what I could do. And I also turned these into stickers, but I, I actually really like how all of these mushrooms turned out. There's a couple that are maybe, you know, not so great, like that one's maybe not my favorite. But it was really just a lot of fun because the doing these mushrooms was just like doodling. Oh, and then here's my favorite. Of course, on the third page is when I would hit my stride and I did a couple really nice um, groupings of mushrooms here. Oh, and then here's Space Corgi. This is actually a piece that I made specifically to turn into a art print and a sticker, a large sticker. As you can see, it is pretty large. It fits on the whole 5x7 sheet. The sticker itself is a little bit smaller. And then here's where I started experimenting with ways to paint watercolor crystals. Just a lot of bleed work. I really enjoy playing around with bleed work and leaving white spaces and such. And here's some more. Oh, and then here's my first um, failed, <laughs> failed animal portrait. This little chubby raccoon I had actually done a little sketch of in um, another sketchbook I have that's not quite finished yet. And then I just feel like it didn't transfer very well from this little small image to the larger. There's just, it just didn't, didn't work out. That thing, that kind of stuff happens, you know. Then I went and I tried again and I created this little guy and I liked him a lot more. This is also um, a time when I was combining watercolor with gouache, because these plants are gouache. Oh, and then here's Sun Bear. I really liked this one, how it turned out. And I actually turned this one into a print as well. I've just been experimenting a lot with uh, painting animals lately. This is probably like one of the best ones out of all my animal experiments. I'm still enjoying uh, painting animals. Also, side note, you might hear my dog um, rustling around in here because she just walked in. And here's my little frog. I forget exactly what species of frog this is. It's those little, the little bulbous ones that squeak. And I actually used, I don't know if you can see it, but the gold paint. And last but not least, 
the final thing in this sketchbook is my little black cat painting. And that's that. I would definitely buy this sketchbook again, to be honest. Um, I really enjoyed working in it. At first I thought maybe um, I might not, might not like the texture. As you can see, the edges get a little rough in there. And, but I really came to like it. And of course, painting on cotton is always wonderful. So, whoops! I would definitely highly recommend this sketchbook for sure. If you primarily want to work in watercolors in your sketchbook and you just want to have some small papers to experiment on, then yes, this is perfect and lovely and I don't think it's very expensive either. I, I got this off of Amazon. I'm, I'm sure it was no more expensive than a moleskin sketchbook. So that pretty much wraps up my, uh, my tour and review of this sketchbook. Again, I highly recommend it if you enjoy working with watercolor. And I hope I'll see you next time on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and visit my um, Instagram and my TikToks and all that jazz. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.